Uh, Kiri, I would like to finish uh, for today with this subsection when it comes uh, to a very positive and very hopeful um, subtopic and idea, the end of chaos. That's how I named it. Namely, we see in Psalm uh, 74, 14, and in Isaiah 27, 1, uh, Leviathan, right? In Romans 16, 20, Paul is saying that the same way, like in Psalm 74 and Isaiah, God will slash this uh, ancient sea serpent, Leviathan. Uh, Paul is saying in Romans 16 that God will soon uh, crush Satan under your feet, talking to the to the church in, in Rome. Also, we see in 2 Peter 2 uh, and in Jude, uh, I was about to say Jude 1, but Jude has only one chapter. In Jude uh, uh, verses 4 and 12 to 13, there is judgment of the fallen angels, which are also a type or a form of chaos. And at the very end, we see in Revelation 21, 1, there will be sea uh, no more. And like we said, according to the teaching of our uh, beloved late scholar, Dr. Michael Heiser, who was the first one who introduced me with the idea that the sea represents chaos, and which also you mentioned uh, at least once before, um, the sea does represent chaos. And there is this uh, overwhelming um, hope in both testaments hey god will stop chaos god will stop the enemy be it uh, chaotic waters uh sea serpent uh satan is the main or the arch enemy of god uh being uh maybe the fallen angels which we see since genesis 6 until second uh, peter 2 or jude we see this hope that god is coming and he's not just coming to judge he is coming to judge, but in he, this judgment, because he's the victorious one, he's the God of gods, he's the Lord of lords, the, in the most literal sense, he will come and, come and say, no more, no more. You had all this time, you had all this, um, um, maybe even authority they, they, they had, but they abused, and they were killing people, they are slaying the prophets, the apostles, the martyrs throughout the church history, but also in the history of the Old Testament. And God is saying, God is coming with his sword. I don't know if it, it will be a physical sword or maybe a sword more like his word or whatever that sword is. But God is coming to slay the ancient serpent, Leviathan or the Satan. How hopeful is this for the global church? What do you think? Oh man, that that's so amazing, and and it, it is God working, but in, I don't have this pulled up, so I don't have a reference, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's in in Revelation, where there's the the actual battle, and it's not God battling; it's it's the archangel Michael and and other angelic beings, so God is absolutely sovereign, but He's okay using His created creatures, whether it's the angels and the spiritual beings or whether it's us. And we are part of that defeat of chaos, which I think is rather incredible. Um, and and I, I kind of want to ask you, do you think that the serpent in Genesis 3, do you think he is the same as this, this theme? Is he like the, the serpent, like he's not in the sea, but he is a serpent. So do you think he's the same as the chaos dragon? Hmm, you put me on the spot. Um, without going deep into research of this topic, I would say they have a lot of similarities. But yeah, one is the sea dragon and one is the land dragon. Uh, now, are these related in the in the fashion or in the in the meaning of sharing the same antichrist or diabolical spirit yes do they look the same i don't know is their purpose the same or similar probably when it comes to like jesus said the enemy comes to steal kill and destroy so i think uh i don't think that um because we see in the uh old testament promise in the eschaton the coming age that the cobra will lie with some, you know, with people or, or, or like with more tame animals. There'll be, you know, there'll be sheep and wolf. There'll be lions and this. So if, if snake is 
necessarily naturally evil being. There will be no cobras in heaven. Now we can say, well, this is just a metaphor, meaning that God's um, arch enemies can be changed, or maybe that um, um, you know, in natural, what we see as 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 uh, evil or dangerous, like wolves and lions, you know, there will be no um, animosity between different species in heaven. I'm open for that interpretation, but if there will be literally cobras or any type of animals in heaven, we see then then that uh, snakes are not inherently evil. Rather, we may see that the same um, python spirit, which is mentioned in the book of Acts, which was used uh, to possess and take that uh, sorceress lady uh, who was like uh, good with guessing. I forgot the proper word which was her title the fortune teller right so maybe we can say well there there's this uh serpentine like um diabolical spirit which takes form or sort of certain animals and they may be called different animals they may come from different groups of types of species of animals but it's the same behavior when it comes to killing destroying deceiving lying um that's my best answer so far but i wouldn't necessarily know if uh the land and the and the watery serpent are the same uh creature because the enemy at the end shows to have multiple he uh, heads like hydra maybe it's the same enemy with different heads i mean i don't know but that's that's a good topic and it's a good question yeah, I, I find it just really interesting to think about and to see what other people think about. Like, because we can make these connections and we can talk about them, but, you know, how closely can we really equate one thing to another? And we do need to be really careful with that, you know, not just go crazy with all of the connections, right? But at the same time, it is the patterns and the themes that we should be paying attention to. So... I just find it really interesting. So wait, Carrie, are you saying that not every woman whom we dislike, we are supposed to call Jezebel? You know how you encounter <laughs> people from churches? Oh, that's a Jezebel. I'm like, wait, wait, okay, why? You know, it's like, explain this to me. Like, they don't like certain women because she may be nasty or gossiping or maybe even, um, you know, have this sexual freedom to be like that's a desert i'm like okay just chill maybe she is i don't know but like just be, be slow with those judgments like how do you know like yeah sometimes i think it could be uh so easy to perceive and to discern uh but not always so yeah i i agree with this